Uh, we're going to solve learning assessment E 5.9 from the textbook, Norton's theorem. Uh, we start out by simplifying the circuit a little bit and then labeling all currents and voltages, uh, node voltages. Uh, here I just combined the, three, the 3k and the 2k into a 5k right here. Um, there's only three nodes in this circuit, V0, V1, and V2. Um, oh, I forgot to short this. So, uh, yeah, first step in the Norton is to short out the, the resistor, the element that we're trying to find current through. And we want to find the short circuit current through that short. Uh, so we have V0, V1, and V2. V1 is one big node here because we shorted that out. So this is all one big node. So we have three nodes. We have I1, I2, I3, and I4 as currents. So to find I short circuit, we're going to use nodal analysis. The first step on doing that is to um, find as many equations as we have unknowns for. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have eight unknowns, we need eight equations. Uh, we're going to start right here with uh, V1 and V2. We know that oops, V2 equals V1 minus 12 because uh, V1 is 12 volts greater than V2. It's a super node, so we can we can use that as one of our equations. Next, we're going to do uh, KCL at the V0 node. We can say that 2 milliamps plus I1 equals I2. We say that because 2 milliamps in, 1 milli I1 in equals I2 out. Uh, we can say I1 equals 10 minus V0 over 5. So we have 10 volts minus V0 over 5, 5K. Same for I2. We have V0 minus V2 over 4. Here it's very important to be consistent. When you draw the arrows, it's a uh, higher voltage minus lower. So here we had 10 minus V0 because current was going from was going this way over the 5k. And then here we have V0 minus V2 because current flows from higher to lower. V0 minus V2 over 4. Uh, next we're going to do KCL at this node right here. This is going to be I3 equals 2 plus I short circuit. Uh, we can say I3 equals 8 minus V1 over 3. Um, and we can say that we can't say much about I short circuit because there's no resistor across it. But we can say uh, we can do KCL at this node right here, which is I short circuit. Plus I2 equals I4 because we have I short circuit going in, I2 going in, and I4 coming out. And we can say I4 equals V1 minus 0 over 6K. Uh, so now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight. Oops. So eight equations, eight unknowns. The next step is to put to put all this data into a matrix. As much as much fun as it would be to solve all these equations and all these unknowns by hand, um, we definitely want to use a tool to solve this quickly and efficiently. So I'm just going to do one one line of the matrix that we're going to solve, just as an example. So we have we're going to do this for all of them. So we have V2 equals V1 minus 12. So we put 1 at V2, negative 1 at V1, and negative 12 as the uh, the coefficient or constant out here. Uh, and then we put zeros in for the rest of these. Now we're going to do this uh, eight times, one for each, one for each equation. Uh, and then put it in our tool. So I'm going to use MATLAB to solve this. 
A is our matrix that we're going to solve. So you can see the first line, 0, negative 1, 1, all zeros, and negative 12. It's going to be right up here. And then negative 12 is over here. We solve this equation, we solve this matrix, and we solve for all our variables. The only one we really care about is the I short circuit. So we look at the, since that's going to be our last, our last variable in our matrix, we look at the bottom. We see negative 1.64. So I short circuit equals negative 1.64 milliamps. Now that we have I short circuit, now we need to find um, the Thevenin resistance seen by that 6, 6K resistor. So we're going to uh, open that circuit. We're going to short the voltage sources and open the current source. Uh, that leaves us with, so we can treat these as one because we know that's 5k, so that's one, two, three, four resistors left and we have this circuit right here. So here's where the 6k was with the current source open, voltage sources shorted um, with four resistors left. Here it's a little confusing, you have to think of it as current flowing from the open circuit back to the to the beginning part. So here, current's going to flow this way, or let's say it flows this way. It doesn't really matter which way. So it goes through this 3K, divides here, and then comes back in here. And I like to draw this type of circuit because it makes it easier to visualize when combining resistors. So from this circuit, it's really obvious that we can say, combining all the resistors to get our Thevenin and resistance, it's 3 plus 9 and 6 in parallel. And that's going to come out to 6.6 .6, uh, kilo ohms. So now we have our R Thevenin. We'll label that. So now we have our R Thevenin and our I short circuit. And with those two, we can just make our, our Thevenin circuit. Um, so we know our R Thevenin is 6.6 .6 kilo ohms, and our I short circuit is what was that again? negative 1.64 um, and this is our original 6k that we that we pulled out at the beginning so with our uh, equivalent circuit we can just do a current divider to find the current here this current's going to be I0 the I0 the very same I0 that we set out to, to find at the beginning when we removed the resistor um, and using current divider we can say I0 is the R Thevenin over R Thevenin plus the 6K times the short circuit current. Uh, so we'll plug that in. And that gives us, let me put in my calculator. negative point eight six and we can see that that's very close to our predicted answer